Step into the future of design with our Cutting Edge tutorial series where you'll uncover the latest and most innovative tricks of 2024. Elevate your creativity to new heights and stay ahead of the curve regardless of whether you're a seasoned design veteran or just embarking on your creative journey. With expert guidance and insider tips, this tutorial is your ultimate gateway to achieving design mastery and setting new standards in the industry. There we go. Now we have our finished design there. The cool girl standing through the loop. Okay, now how do we achieve that? Let's look at this. We'll go to File and New. And for this exercise, I've selected 10 inch by 8 inch, which is in the photo presets 8R. So we don't have to make up a new one. 300 DPI, the colors RGB. And I've set the background to transparent so we can see clearly what we're doing when we separate a few things out. We don't need to worry about margins, so I've set them to zero. So there's our layout, document summary, very nice. Let's create that and put that there. Now, we've got to get a picture of the girl on there. Now, fortunately, I've done this before, but the girl is easy to find that we've used. It's over in the stock studio and Pixabay, and I've just typed in girl in shorts. Well, there's lots of them there, but this is the one I used. Let's just drag it across over there. And there she goes. Much too large, of course, for this image. But what we'll do is go to the bottom right hand corner where transform is. And select the girl because that's obviously the image that we want to um, transform. So let the cent select the zero for the center point there go to layers. Did I get that back to front? There she is. And the height, I want to set the height to five inches. Five inches is pretty good. Now we can see what that is in the document. I've got snapping on. Move tool is selected and just move her into position there. There we go, dead center. Now what you've got to do is select the girl there and remove her from the background. Now that's a different exercise and I don't really want to go through that here. Now as they say in the cooking shows, here's one I did previously. So I selected the girl out of the document, out of that there, lost the background. Now I've just got the girl. So we've got our new document there as it untitled. Let's just get rid of that. I'll delete that because we don't want it. What I can do is go back here to this one, copy that there, go to the new document and just paste her in there. Now, of course, I've got to go back and set that to five inches. five inches and there she is move her up into place there we go dead center just where we want it now that's really simple So now that we've got the girl there and centered and about the right height that we want, we just go over here to the layers panel and I'll duplicate that layer so that we've got two exact same images of the girl. Now what I want to do is put the words cool behind that girl. Now I've already written that here. That's in there. So I'll just go to that layer there, copy that layer. This will save me dragging this thing out so that you're waiting and waiting. I'll paste that in there and you can see there it is there. And it's right behind the girl. And that's about centered too, which is not a bad thing to do. Now what we need to do is have the girl appearing as though 
she's stepping down through the letter O. Now to do that, we go across there to the top layer. We go over here to, is that going to show up? The rectangular mark tool, select that. Now we go over here and make sure that we're going to fill or actually mark out the girl exactly inside there. Now we'll go down about halfway to about there. Make sure her sleeves are caught in the mark. And there we go. Now that mark is there. Let me show you how this works. We'll go up to refine and you can see she's neatly selected out there. Now in this case we go down to selection and select new layer. Now when we go to apply that, just wait a moment while it works, and there she is. And you can see just there that she's actually behind the word cool. That original layer is now switched off, cool is still there and the bottom layer is still there. Now what we want to do is put another layer directly behind or at the bottom if you like of that so we'll use that one we'll go up there and you can see that that's cut half of her off because what it did was put it above that so we drag it down to below that layer and color it green. Now you can see that she's quite clearly on there. Now if you want to move the girl in there a little bit you have to select the top one that's turned on and the bottom one that's turned on and you can see she's completely selected there. Let's go up here to the move tool and you can adjust her in there, that's a little bit better. There we go, a much clearer image. There you go, that's all there is to it. A few steps and you've got a really nice design. Go ahead, make my day. Subscribe.